Ah, good evening. <laughs> Welcome uh, to Frugal Outdoors and another uh, episode of fishing. Uh, no surprise there, really. Uh, first, first uh, outing of the new year, so I'm super chuffed. It's the third. I'm back at work tomorrow, so it's the third of January. Uh, it's pretty calm. It's a lot lighter on the phone, obviously, but the light is just starting to go. Uh, it's about half past four. High tide is literally just uh, low tide. Sorry, it's just been so basically I'm fishing the whole of the flood. Uh, which normally stops a little bit early. So behind me there, that's Fort Victoria. I've taken some advice to some people. That bit behind me there is Norton Wall all the way along, but there's a buoy at both ends of Norton Wall and it looks like somebody's either put a string of pots there to get them out of the storm or a very long net. Uh, so I'm just plonking myself right here. And I've never fished it before, so it's a new mark. So uh, without further ado, let's get our gear set up. Let's get some baits in the water, let's get fishing. All right, well, it hasn't taken long for the for the light to go, that's for sure. So, right hand rod. Uh, at the moment, we've got a two hook clip down. Now, these these um, trident bits have been given to me by a chap called Hobbo, um, who fishes in the Ambassador. So, I'm hoping I'm going to get a fish on them uh, for him. He did say give him a shout out if I get one. So, I'm giving them a pre shout out in the anticipation that I am going to get one. So that's a two hook clip down with size two O's, mackerel, loads of beads. Other side, uh, on that side, I've got a, a loop rig, Pompey loop rig, uh, with some black lug on the top, tipped with squid. They're on a size two hooks, uh, so a bit smaller, uh, pretty long traces. Um, I don't really know what I'm targeting tonight. Um, a fish, I'd like a decent fish. I'd like any sort of fish really. It's been two weeks since I was out, so I'm just hoping to get something. Well, already I can tell you the, the tide is running quite a bit because, I, like I said before, it's just turned. I just literally lobbed them out and they're bumping. I can feel them bumping along. Uh, so hopefully they'll settle in and then just sit in the tide for a bit. They're definitely bumping along at the minute. Ah, there we go. First chuck, first cast, first fish. It's only dogfish, but as you know, I'll take it. It's not a very big one, but let's get it back in. Let's get the bait in the water. See what else we can get. Ah, so that's a uh, that's the right result. Literally, first cast. It's been in the water for about ten minutes. Uh, another fish. Uh, that was on the trident tackle stuff. I don't know what to make of it, to be honest. I know a lot of people like it. I find it a bit fiddly, to be honest, that rotor clip. It's worked perfectly well. But I'm finding it a bit fiddly getting a hook in there, whereas normally with an imp or something, you just swing it round, latch it on, and it's done. Uh, but yeah, so far, so good. Fish. Uh, I need to check the other one, because it's drifted around. I haven't even had a chance to get a rig 
like a spare rig ready yet to chuck out. Oh, look at that. That's that Portsmouth, Portsmouth loop rig, or loop rig, whatever you want to call it. Both, both, uh, both snoods snapped in a snag, but I've got the rest of it back. So. Yeah, that uh, that dogfish took the um, took the mackerel uh, on the 2-0, uh, and I think there might be another one on there now. Uh, I've only been here about 20, 25 minutes, so I'm pretty like stressing at the minute because I haven't settled into settling. Uh, I need to get another rig sorted. Uh, yeah, the tide is towing through. It's a really, really big tide tonight. Um, like I say, it's uh, especially for the island in Solent. It, it just funnels right through, especially where I am. Not as bad as in uh, a bit further up. There's a little bit of an eddy here, um, but yeah, it certainly it certainly canes it through. So hopefully it won't be too strong. Otherwise, I'll have to up to sixes. is starting to uh, get the better of my patience that's the third rig I've lost in that that same area went to the concrete pillar bit to try and get a bit more height straight away got about three reels in on it boom straight into it yeah can't figure it out man So that's, um, so you can see that, that's what I've got going out next anyway. So that's like the head cut at a diagonal with the stomach pouch of the um, of a pout in there. And that's on a, a pulley panel, chinoo on the top, 3.0, and a 3.0 wide mouth on the bottom. I think that other brands call it something else, but basically it, it's a it's a 3.0 hook, but it's a very wide gape on it. There we go, chuck it in. Ah, there we go, so that's out. Yeah, I think I'm going, I don't know if it's like a, a normal thing that anglers go through. Like, I've been fishing for over a year now. And uh, really starting to doubt everything that I'm doing. <laughs> I think because I've had a few, I mean, I haven't blanked for ages. I don't think, I anyway, not. Oh, I've flounder fishing, I did. But, um, yeah, just not like having a decent catch. You see other people having good catches and stuff. Like now, like my, they're not old and bottom. You start, like I, I'm starting to sort of uh, doubt literally everything. Am I using the right rigs? Do I need to be using bigger weights, bigger leads? Am I casting it far enough? Too far? That bait is pretty much untouched. Something's had a nibble on it, actually. Yeah, I just wondered if that's something that everybody goes through. <laughs> or if it's just me. There we go. So I hope you can see that. Um, it's, one in, it's, in the, it's in my wallet, I think, from um, when we were one rod uh, bream fishing in the bream comp. Uh, so basically, short snoots. That's the only thing I'm a bit concerned about, but again, that's what I'm. This is where I'm questioning all the time. Long snood, short snood, loop rigs, clip down rigs. Mate, it's too many rigs. Uh, what's that? Eight inches? Ten on a good day? So it's three of those, I think. That looks like a size one. But on the bottom. It's got a size 2.0. So we've got two size 1s and a 2.0 on the bottom, but that is manky. Might. See if I can change that. I've got to be honest, I do, I do find fishing like. Sometimes I find fishing so relaxing, and other times I find it super stressful. 
And today seems to be one of those stressful sessions where I'm just not really sure what I'm doing. I haven't been fishing for two weeks, so I'm blaming that. Wow! <laughs> there was a bite on that, uh, the pout head. The whole thing had totally gone, uh, apart from the bottom jaw. So something must have just managed to grab it, pulled it, and managed to <laughs> miss both the hooks. Ah, oh, gutted. Well, it's good though. It's a good sign. Apart from I've got no more pout. I've got pout fillet, actually. Uh, I'm going to change the other one as well, bring that three-hook flapper in. Have you ever seen a lobster that big? <laughs> Jesus! Woo. Hell, hell yeah! Look at the claws on him, man! <laughs> Look at that! What the f... Dude, I'm gonna have to weigh that! Mate, look at it! Make, make sure it's not a female. No? No eggs? I am shaking! Whew. Look at that! Look at that! Oh, sorry. You probably can't see. Whew. That is a big ass, big ass lobster. Oh yeah! Mate, I'm shaking so much! I've left my rod down at the beach. Whew. Hell, wow, there we go. <laughs> that is not a blank. <laughs> wow, doing it. doing it for you, look at that. Totally, totally fine. Mate, that is epic. Epic. Oh, there we go, another doggy. I'm gonna get him back, it's quite deep hooked that one, but I've got it out. Um, he's still pretty lively, so let's get it back in anyway. Totally my fault. Uh, got wrapped around the bloody rod tip light and just pinged straight off. Gutted. There we go, man. It's a pretty decent sized dogfish. <laughs> Wicked. 
That's three three doggies tonight now. He's a beaut, that one is. That's a really good size. I say, I did keep one the other night, um, but because I've got that lobster, I'm not going to keep one. Um, I'll let this one go back, uh, and I'll get another one another time when I haven't got something to eat. But, yeah, man. Another fish. Look at them. This is something cool. Love it. Just had to uh, just had to go and put it back in the water because I threw it in, turned around, so went down the cast, and he'd managed to swim up the beach. He's very lucky because I would take it and eat it. Oh, wow! <laughs> there we go. Session over. As I thought, the um, that back eddy started, and both rods just went wham straight over. So I pulled them in uh, and packed up. Uh, so yeah, not a bad session, really. Uh, three dogfish in the end. Um, missed a couple. I lost a lot of rigs tonight, which I wasn't expecting, but um, it's definitely, if I kept to the one side of where I was fishing, it was all right, and it was much more snaggy on the right, so it's definitely one to remember. But yeah, lobster. That is a cracker of a lobster. So that is definitely worthwhile coming out I don't mind losing a few rigs to get that puppy so that is coming home and that's gonna get cooked up straight away tonight and probably have some nice lobster sandwiches <laughs> for work tomorrow yeah so thank you everyone as always your support is massively appreciated I'm so close to that 1000 subscribers so if you are watching and you haven't subscribed please do push us over that edge uh, still getting something like 50% um, around 50% people that are, are watching the videos aren't subscribed um, but yeah if you don't mind just whacking that subscribe button would be much appreciated uh, and also hit the thumbs on the way out or on the way in either way um, but yeah cool man first session of 2022 not bad not bad at all uh, so hopefully more good things to come take care everyone stay safe and hopefully see you out there